Good evening, guys. It is an evening in the Peak District in Derbyshire, and it is a beautiful evening. Um, and we've got a bit of a surprise for you as tonight we are going to be staying in a little bit of an alternative accommodation. So what we're going to do is we're going to get out and we're going to show you around where we're staying tonight on our last day of our holiday. God, <laughs> this is crazy. So as you come up to the yurt, which we are around here now, there's a toilet and wood storage just down there, which is just there. And then you walk right up to these lighted steps and there's plenty of seating area. And we've got this beautiful, beautiful view all across the um, highest part of the peaks, which obviously is stunning. So I'll just quickly take you through here because I am losing quite a bit of the sunshine because we got here a bit later than we wanted to. But yeah, we have this extraordinary view to look at. Um, apparently it's one of the highest points of uh, grazing land in the area. Um, but it's quite flat still, so I'm all right with the height sort of thing because I do get a little bit nervous. And then coming back through to the yurt, uh, it's an extra bit of money for the fire pit, um, but they also provide marshmallows as well and loads and loads of wood. So we're going to be doing that later for definite. And I'm going to show you now inside of the yurt. So coming in, we've got these really cute little wooden double doors and it's a bit of a squeeze coming in, but... How you doing? So as you can see, it is super, super traditional. Um, we've got loads and loads and loads of wood. I know it's very, very dark for you to see, but I will also kind of show you more in the morning as well. And then we've got our own little gas station with a kettle and some mugs. And the lady did say that she's provided us with some of her own milk. So we've got some of her own milk down there. Oh, and some wine that's nice <laughs> and then there's loads of card games and books and all these little lights so that we can see where we're going and then i believe that all of these sofas turn into beds which is there's three and then we've got this amazing wood stove oven in the middle we've got some little tea lamp holders all around dotted uh, along the yurt so that when it does get very dark which is very close to getting um you can see uh, where you're going basically I mean the the fairy lights are really great as it is and then what we can do is we're going to fill up uh, this bad boy and get a fire going because it is very very fresh up here at the moment uh, but it really is beautiful as well as uh, some fresh milk and a bottle of wine uh, we do have some matches uh, we've got plenty of tea lights for the uh, tea light holders to be able to see I know uh, with I'm assuming we have yeah, so we've got lots of tea bags and sugar for tea. I mean, I don't drink tea, so that's not a big deal. Uh, but it's still careful. Very much appreciate that. And then we've got a few cooking utensils. And then in this little tin, which is so cute, we've got a few uh, little chocolate brioches, which obviously are going to go down very well with the kids uh, tomorrow morning. And then it's definitely starting to get a lot darker. But we've got uh, a little washing up set as well. Uh, prepared for us if we need to do any washing up and yeah there's just there's everything you could need um as i said already the kids have got lots of games over there and i am going to get on with uh lighting this bad boy to keep us nice and warm for the night
What's in there, Ella Wim? Wow. Very nice. <laughs> I'm playing dominoes. What you got, Lou? What? what you got? I, I have a <laughs> marshmallow. Yeah. Have you? Even yeah. Even. You don't have a marshmallow. <laughs> you look like a ghost. Oh. <laughs> I'll go get you a stick, Dad. Mate, it's fine. I'm my cat at the moment. Dad, look. <laughs> you happy boy. I think it looks more comfy than the other one. Much comfier. All the kids are in their beds. Uh, they've actually got like sets or rolled up uh, like tarn mattresses, like the really thin ones that um, people in uh, East Asia use a lot of the time. There's always one of them to get the kids on. So they're actually testing those out right now. They're all sound asleep. Uh, the fire is going, so it is a lovely and tasty and warm in here. Kev's in bed, so I'm going to go and join him and we're going to hopefully have a really, really good night's sleep. Um, it's so cosy in here and really lovely. Um, could have asked for a better night, to be honest. Um, we sat outside and roasted marshmallows um, and just had a really nice end to our holiday. It's really sad that this is going to be like the one and only night we spend here, but um, hopefully in the future we can do this more often. Uh, but I will definitely consider a year like 100%. This is wonderful. Like, this is exactly what I would want out of life, to be honest. Um, yeah. So, we are going to bed. It is around 10 o'clock. And we're going to uh, snuggle up and get some well needed rest. So, we will see you in the morning. everyone good morning i'm here in the peak district just sitting by my cows waking up uh, in this beautiful area unfortunately the weather has taken a bit of a turn it's starting to get a bit spitty it's very gray this morning and uh, not like yesterday in the slightest we were very lucky yesterday we had a lot of clear skies uh, all the way up so we could see 
the magnificence of the Peak District. Uh, but yeah, sleeping wise, it was all right. Those mattresses are, they are definitely something you need to get used to. But overall, it was super comfortable. It did get a bit chilly in the night, but it was my fault because uh, I let the fire go out really. Uh, but by two o'clock, I kind of woke up again. Uh, redid the fire and went straight back to sleep and it was it was pretty glorious and now we're just getting ready and slowly packing away unfortunately because that is the end of our trip now um, it makes me so sad but I have recognized quite a few things um, and we've had quite a few chats uh, and we've had quite a few um, really deep conversations about where we want to take our lives which is important obviously this is the first holiday we've had in in six years, so that's a long time uh, to not have a holiday. And most of our holidays were in Cornwall. We've only had one abroad together. Um, so it was definitely well needed and I feel so much happier for it. And I'm very, very grateful that we were able to do this. Um, but yeah, we're gonna pack away now and slowly make our way back. I don't want to, because <laughs> you can't really buy this this view right now but I'm going to take it all in before I leave and yeah we will uh we'll be getting going if you guys want to check out where we are staying uh this is her Instagram just here uh so you can follow her and see what she does it's really really cool did you have a good sleep cows are all the way over there but the the sheep are just here say again let's go let's go oh bye bye say bye thank you hey let's go